What up, my peeps? I'm this Ray here. I'm bringing you a new game, The Walking Dead. I know most a lot of people play it, so I'm deciding to play it. I was watching Mr. Rex playing it and Zach Scott playing it, and they did stuff uh, I want to do differently. So, well, I want to see how the story ends because I haven't finished watching their videos yet, and I want to see how uh, picking a different, like, 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 blah, 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 different path will lead to a different. Well, the same ending, I think. My friend said it's the same ending, no matter what you pick. So I'm gonna try that. I know I haven't seen the ending yet, so yeah. What is that? Minimum standard. More helpful in the eye feedback when you make important choices. Yeah, I have standard because I never played this before. A new day. Is this the one we need to play? Guess so. Let's press it. Right. As you can see, uh, I'm wearing the same shirt as the thing I recorded yesterday, and, well, the thing you saw yesterday, which was today anyway, and I still have my allergies. But I think I'm going to record some videos because I'll be, I have an assignment due in today, if you're watching this on Wednesday. Oh, the music is a bit loud. I have to change my mic a bit, bit louder then. Can I do that now? Well, I, don't, I don't want to skip the scene, because just in case I can relax and watch this. So this is the main character you're going to be. Oh, we have to get to we get to control this bit as well. I shouldn't put down my control. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Why do you say that? Dot, dot, dot. Does it really matter? You know. Uh, why do you say that then? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. So that's how you move. about now I get the... I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. He seems like a nice fella. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Hmm, didn't say anything. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. It's a bit hard to control. Oh, right, okay. Uh, go back down there. Click. Down. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Ew, sitting on snot. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not telling him he's got to stop. Look at me, look at the road. That's government property. 
and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a more hilarious if I do say so. In this the road. Other Good game, isn't it? So this is where we uh, we hit a zombie, I think, and there's like zombie outside, and you're not really sure yet. So thank God we're in a safe place, so zombies can't get us. I think I need to find out how to change down the sound because it's quite loud for me. Lucky seven is always good. Right, okay, let's resume the gameplay. Uh, we can kick the thing, so let's do that. Cool. Now we can climb out. I need to drag myself out that window. So you drag yourself. I need to drag myself out that, that window. Oh, I can move. Right, my nose is annoying me. Uh. Seems like they've been rolling for ages, though. Oh, that came out. Right. We can pick up the car. I mean, the <laughs> car. Uh. Gun, I think. But there's no shells. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. I think there's bullets down there. Yeah. Yeah. Officer? Officer? Oh, I don't need to have it on top. Officer. Run away. Holy shit! 
Shotgun shells. Get away from me. Of course, you'll drop it. Okay, I did see this bit before, so I do, I do know what to do. <laughs> oh, someone's there. Help! Go get someone! They're, they're oh, now I see what it is. Zombies. I'm not sure how the saving system works here. Hello? Anybody? Oh, I think that's saving us there. So, uh, what I need to do is go inside the house and get her a new drink. Shoot, okay? How does he assume that people have guns? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Ugh, cables out. So I can't watch TV. I don't get this where the zombie comes from later. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Nice. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy there. guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked no. out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. 
They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. I wasn't even standing there. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm not even moving now. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Your parents. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see That's you through the window. That saw us. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Oh. Let's see if it will stop attacking, but I guess not. Yeah, okay, let's try again. B. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could attack again. Uh, if it would just die there. That's one thing I wanted to test out. Do her uh, work. Surely that's already dead. Screamed two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, 
It's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. She closed that quite like sudden. Right, I can move now. I think that's saving. I'm not sure. Let's get up to the farm bit and then we stop there. Like, help out at the farm first. Because here we need to save some people. Oh man! I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Babysitters go? I'd say her parents owe you a tip. I think the red screen bit there was to tell you that if anything was close coming by, like dangerous or something. If it goes all red, I think you'll die. In your child. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God. Okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. OK. 
Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Let's try and be on his good side. Sean, run on in and Have you guys watched The Walking Dead? You. His Herschel? He looks very have. different from the actual Walking Dead, though. But, yeah. Looks very disappointed. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. If you don't tell him his name, he gets mad. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Just uh, out for a drive. She's <laughs> bad at lying. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better Thank tomorrow. You. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. It seems happier than the last time I saw. All right, then. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. Duty. <laughs> Duty. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, man. How far is Savannah? Very <clears throat> far. Oh, okay. Get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna go a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. 
My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. Oh, you need to pee. <laughs> that is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Right. Now I need to check on everyone, I think. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. That fast? Oh, uh, how's that? <laughs> it's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Hmm. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Oh, I thought I can talk to Herschel here. I guess not. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world. But it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things up there, maybe, sure, that's enough. 
But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See you. Cool. Now we got checked up on him. We can look at uh, them. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. <laughs> I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed sure. things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, there it is. That's the trigger. Let's go. Sean reminds me of the person in Heavy Rain. Uh, Jason, I think, or someone, or the brother of Jason. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia. <laughs> Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar, and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> Right, this is the one decision that I have to make, is to rescue 
Sean or Ducky. So I'm gonna rescue Sean because I mean yeah. You can't, you can't save me. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I... to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. Wait until it's your daughter and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Okay. Can't save him. I thought you can, but guess not. Well, maybe I did it wrong. I'm not sure. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Your humanity. They would have died out there. But not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. 
Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I so do I. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! I shouldn't have got me. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. <laughs> shit. We let one in, you stupid shit. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Lee, stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, you get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, oh. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Okay. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. 
behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Right, okay. I think I want to end it here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's been a very exciting episode, and hopefully you'll be looking for more. Bye.